From life on the road to life on the Thames at Chiswick 8, on a submarine chaser among the houseboats, like a wolf among sheep. But the Mayflower hunts no more. Today she is home and studio to American artist Mrs. Ginny Brown. Fifty guinea shoes, as unconventional as her address, are worn for kicking around on deck. But Ginny can afford it, she makes them herself. For this, unusual housewife is also a professional cobbler. Painting is Ginny's real love, but on board the Mayflower it has to take third place to housework and a trade she taught herself ten years ago in Hollywood. Started as an experiment, then a hobby, shoemaking became a serious business when examples of her work were reaching the feet of the film stars. As the stars stepped out, business stepped up. Stars like Zsa Zsa Gabor, Leslie Caron, Vivian Lee, Rita Hayworth, Esther Williams and dozens more. The shoes are fashioned in any material, hide, calf, leopard skin, nylon, straw, silk, anything her knife can cut. But the finished products are real works of art. Some take her five hours to make some as many days, but all carry the hallmark of the artist, the clean line, the exquisite handiwork. Some of her ideas come from historical sources, Indian moccasins, Grecian sandals and medieval boots. Others are more contemporary, simply soles with ingenious strappings and large jewel studs between the toes. These finished designs are just examples of the 1,500 pairs of shoes she has made since the day she first tried her hand at it. Screw-up stud may start a fashion, it wouldn't be the first time, but it's just another idea to Ginny Brown, the cobbler who lives on a boat. 